it is best practice to always have a backup for your rappel. And the best way to back up your rappel, in my opinion, is using a sterling hollow block material this length, it's about eight inches, and um, the reason is is because the length of this material is the perfect length to wrap around two pieces of rope an appropriate number of times with the auto block friction hitch. I've already taught in another video how to tie the auto block, but it is my preference for backing up a rappel because it easily releases under load and it slides smoothly. Always double check that your friction hitch is holding before you commit to using it as your rappel. And in this situation, it's not holding, so I might need to tie another wrap around my rope until it does hold. The method that you use to back up your rappel depends on the diameter of your rope and what you have available to tie your friction hitch with. So if you have a smaller rope, then you might choose another friction hitch. So if I find that the, that the auto block isn't working with this particular rope, I might choose to change what I'm using to a clem heist or a prosec to add a little bit more security. I do find the clem heist a good second option to the auto block because it is more secure and it releases slightly easier than the prosec. It also pinches down on ropes with, with narrower diameters better than the auto block might. And you're welcome to tie a prosec as well. Other things that you might use to tie your friction hitch with might be a piece of cordelette that you've attached in a loop with a double fisherman. And you can tie any of the same friction hitches with this piece of material as well. This material I would say is longer than what is ideal to make a friction hitch with as a backup to your rappel because what ends up happening is in order for this to be short enough to where it's not interfering with my rappel device and specific extension methods, then I have to wrap it more times. And the, the more times I wrap it, the less enjoyable the rappel is and the slower my rappel might end up being. And you can also use a sling to tie a, an auto block or a clem heist, but it is not recommended to tie a prusik with any sort of flat webbing. And keep in mind that as you're using this as your third hand backup, it does create wear along your sling. And I might consider retiring this after I use it as a rappel backup um, to only a rappel backup from now on simply because I don't want to trust my life to a piece of material that has abrasions on it uh, from friction. I wouldn't recommend using any Dyneema or Spectra slings for your friction hitch because they do have that lower melting point. They're a lot more likely to become damaged when using it when running it along the rope as a, 